the four time management tips for freelancers that will work. The most significant resource for entrepreneurs and freelancers who operate from home is time. Time is irreplaceable, precious time indeed. You still only receive the legal 24 hours per day, regardless of how wealthy or poor you are or how many items are on your to-do list. I occasionally wish I had additional 24 hours, but that is not going to happen. I'll wager that you may benefit from having a longer workday as well. There are only 24 hours in a day, which means we can't use them all for work. Some of them need to sleep. We need to eat, and we occasionally need to take a shower. We must spend some time with our friends and family. Relationships require care. So, we can only give ourselves a certain number of working hours per day. We need to maximize the hours we work because our available working time is finite. We cannot squander time on trivial matters or tasks that can be completed by others. You will spend your given work hours more effectively if you eliminate a few minutes here and there. I'll keep this short and to the point in order to respect your time and mine. Here are a few suggestions. Number 1. Effectiveness of email accounts. We all have different email accounts. For this, we use one account, and for that, another. Having all of the email that arrives at all of your numerous email accounts go into one Gmail account might make the time-consuming chore of checking each and every email account more time efficient. One email account takes a lot less time than numerous and you may still retain all of your various email addresses. Furthermore, you don't need to waste a lot of time reading and responding to emails that won't help your business. Email comes in many different forms. Emails might be classified as business-related, vital but unrelated to business, or simply trivial and time-wasting. Don't waste your time if an email has been forwarded multiple times. Don't waste time on emails that are sent to a large number of recipients. A lot of time can be spent on email. Only spend time on emails that are relevant to your business after sorting the vital from the unimportant. Number 2. Create timetables to assist you in organizing your workday. An organized workday is a productive workday. If you know in advance and can quickly identify the work that is next on your list, you will accomplish a lot more in a shorter period of time. Learn to appreciate visual help. A schedule serves as a visual guide. It can assist you in effectively and efficiently allocating your time. Number 3. Concentrate on activities that produce results. When creating your workday plan, you must be assured that the tasks you include are those that will actually help your company expand and prosper. Avoid wasting your time, effort, or energy on things that others can complete. Spend some time researching outsourcing. When you delegate the routine business chores to others, you can add hours to your day every single day. You can hire someone else to do activities like producing ads, organizing events, publishing articles and e-books, and bookkeeping and accounting. You should spend your time expanding your business, creating new contacts, and completing agreements rather than trying to perform these duties better and more efficiently than others can. Number 4. Cut back on time-wasting activities. As previously mentioned, your friends and family certainly take part of your time, but you can also lose a ton of time on things like watching TV. If you keep track of how much time you spend over the course of several days, you'll be shocked at how much of your day you waste. Now, don't get it wrong. Everyone needs downtime. Both our bodies and minds need to be relaxed. We can't always be all work and no play, but we can cut back on our counterproductive or ineffective behavior. Time is scarce and it is valuable. If you take anything away from this video hopefully it's that time is your most valuable commodity. Tomorrow is not promised. You must utilize every minute of every day to the fullest extent possible. Okay that's all for this episode. If you want to learn more about how you can get your freelance business off the ground, head over to the IVA Hustle on Gum Road and grab yourself the IVA Hustle Freelance Business Startup Kit. The IVA Hustle Freelance Business Startup Kit will teach you how to gain the freedom and flexibility of being your own boss and create a life you'll love. It will go over the correct steps to start your business with the skills you already have. Grab the discount code in the description below and save on your copy of this dynamic kit. Looking for some freelance business ideas? You can also grab a copy of the IVA Hustle Big Book of Freelancing from Amazon. It's full of startup ideas including instructions to start freelancing quickly using the skills you already have.
you'll find the 27 ROP side gigs for today's freelancer markets inside along with step-by-step -step instructions for getting up and running fast with your business. Remember you need more than one stream of income to stay afloat in today's world. Why not pick up copies of the IVA Hustle Breaking Your Money Blocks Planner and the IVA Hustle 30 Day Freelance Business Money Mindset Challenge Guide both available on our Gum Road page. For more information about IVA Hustle visit us at IVAHustle.com or click the link in the description below. Again, if you've found the information helpful, please hit the like button. It lets us know what kind of content to produce to help hustlers like you. While you're doing that, please share this video to help others learn more about being an expert freelancer. This way you'll be able to show yourself as someone who knows how to find the facts and substantiate their expertise. We invite you to subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new content. Please visit the IVA Hustles Gum Road page for ebooks, merch, and reports. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos. Until next time hustlers.